movement. You're watching Canada's Weather Network. To help you plan your activities in the coming days, here are the short and long-term forecasts for your area. Upload your photos and videos, visit upload.theweathernetwork.com. When severe weather strikes, get critical information through Storm Center on our app, website, and TV channel. Stay ahead of active weather. The storms rolled through portions of Ontario yesterday, making for quite the active weekend across the region. And we'll see a return of this active weather later tonight ahead of this approaching system. However, temperatures quite pleasant a touch above that seasonal mark across much of southern Ontario. Then in comes that cold front and it will hold off until the overnight hours and even into Monday morning and afternoon. And because of the timing, we'll likely get a light show out of this later tonight across much of the region. Lots of lightning associated with this instability and we do have a heightened risk as we head towards the extreme southwest. Windsor, Chatham towards Sarnia. We do have the strongest chance of those storms reaching se severe criteria and we cannot rule out the tornadic threat there. Although it's quite unfavorable in terms of the timing, but there's, there's a shot of that line of storms coming through again after midnight. Uh, and holding off for likely the GT until the pre-dawn Monday hours. And then we get another shot of that instability along that cold front. And that cold front will be slicing through much of Ontario and portions of southern Quebec as we head into Monday afternoon. Stronger storm dynamics uh, at place across the southeast and across the Ottawa Valley. So a cool down comes in behind this cold front. It will be short lived and the same boundary uh, swings on through across portions of Atlantic Canada. So on and off showers for our Sunday night into Monday morning and then conditions certainly heat up across portions of the Maritimes to kickstart our Monday 
and conditions are also very hot and sticky across the Pacific Northwest where we've seen dry conditions and temperatures hitting the 30 degree mark and even slightly above that through the valleys. This will continue right through this week, an intensifying ridge of high pressure. This will eventually build its way across the prairie provinces, but we do have a shot of colder air and frost through this overnight.